Hello and welcome, it's Candace Camper, and I want to give you a quick tip today on if you are wanting to send your file to your accountant for them to be able to look at your QuickBooks for the year for your tax purposes, what is the quickest and easiest way to do this? This is a question that I was um, asked today. So there's a couple things to know and I'm going to walk you through it, so let's go ahead and just get started. The first thing to know is you can create what's called an accountant's copy. And what that does is it you're able to give your accountant as of a certain date, were any work done up to that date. So if any work done in say 2014 and you can keep working in 2015, they can make any adjustments, you can keep working and it's not gonna mess up your data file. If you create just a backup and you send it to them, if they just wanna look at it and give you adjustments, that's fine. But if they want to be able to make adjustments and then send it back to you, if you're still using that data file, you're gonna have a problem. So. If you go under file, accountants copy, and you can either save it and give it to them as a thumb drive or email it to them that way, or you can click send to accountant and this actually automatically emails it to them. So either way is pretty much the exact same thing. You're gonna click send to accountant if you wanna be able to email it. It, allow, it tells you, explains to you how it works. Basically the exact same thing I told you. You're gonna click next. And this is where you decide the dividing date, meaning, what are you gonna be, what time frame are you gonna be working in, and then what time frame are they gonna be working in? So you can, it only lets you, there's only a couple options. So if you wanna be able to pick an exact date, I recommend selecting custom. So I just did this little drop down and clicked custom. And then I recommend letting them work in the, you know, December 31st of 2014 and before, and you working in 2015. So you click next, because while they have your file, you will not be able to work in it. So you put in the email address of where you want it to go, your email address, then you pick a password so that it's protected. You're gonna not wanna put your password in the email, but be able to let your account know in a separate email or call them and let them know what the password is. And you could just put, you know, please check QuickBooks 2014 or whatever it is you wanna send them, or you don't have to put anything if you don't want, and you click send. Does, and it's gonna close all the windows so that it can create the file for you. So what it's doing is it's creating a separation date. You're gonna still be able to work in 15, they're gonna work in 14, they can send you any adjustments and you can upload it, you can import those directly into your data file. Now I had the same error earlier where the accountant's copy isn't working to be able to email it, which is going through into it. So we're gonna hit cancel here and I am gonna show you if you had this problem, how to fix it. So I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but I wanted to teach you how to fix it. Go down to File, go back to Accountants Copy and click, if you're gonna import them, once you're ready to import, you would go here. But in this case, I'm gonna click Remove. It's gonna say, wait, what if your account wants to make an adjustment? You can click OK. And then go back in and click Save File. So File, Accountants Copy, Save File. You can choose between an Accountants Copy in this option or a portable file. This is what I was explaining. The accountant's copy has a dividing date. The portable, really, only one of you can be working in it at a time because when you go to re-upload it, any data you did after the creation date won't be there. Only what they did will be there. So just use an accountant's copy as long as they have, as long as they have QuickBooks for accountants, this will work. If they just want to look at your data file, you can send them this and keep working and they can just look at what you've done. Click next. Choose your dividing date the same way, drop it down, click custom, pick your date, time frame, click next. It's gonna close all the windows just like it did before. Save it to whatever you want, extra, you know, your thumb drive, directly on your computer, and then that will allow you to be able to email it or give it to your accountant in whichever version and way you want. So as soon as this is done creating, which it says it is, you will be able to deliver it to them in any format that you want and you can keep working and they can make adjustments. So I hope that was simple and easy for you. You're welcome to start with trying to email directly, but if it doesn't work, do it the other way like I showed you. And when it's time to import it, just go file, accountants copy, import the changes from the internet if they email it to you or if they give it to you back through your thumb drive, you can click here. And if at any time you need to remove the restrictions, you can select this. Just know if you select it, when they go to send it to you, it won't work. You'll have to actually get the adjustments they want done and do them yourself. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. If you know 
somebody else who could benefit from this, please share it. And if you have a question, leave it below and I'd love to create a video on your question. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.